Ukraine versus Belgium. There's always a little tension before the contest. Both fighters know there's a spot in the semi-finals at stake. So it's over to our commentator, Vinny Shawman. Well, making his way to the quarterfinals. The very talented, the Shakariki's very own, the Spanish-born Spaniard. From Barcelona, Frank Munoz, the Black Panther strikes against Mark Flieger. From Belgium, 95 kilo big boys and entertainment guaranteed. Both really, really nice guys. And people uh, get on people's nerves saying that. We obviously are. The white team, Hannah Maribeg, in the corner with a. Uh, it's Joey from Indonesia and Anna the Boratov from England is in its coach. The Infusion Show from Sweden, Hannah Moneberg and Mark Vlieger. Really, really great knockout against Martin Jan. But Kieran, we've seen we've seen Frank fight before and he's very good, isn't he? Very sharp operator. He is he's got a lovely low kick. He's good leverage, good height as well, and of course a piercing knee as well. And uh very, very dangerous for such a big guy. Well, oh, there you uh, go, then. Makes his way into the ring here at the Pex Char Stadium. Very, very warm. And uh, our MC, Mr. Douglas McCarran, doing another sterling job here for us all. That's infusion with you at home. Very quietly spoken, Mark Vlieger from, from Belgium. Trains in Brussels. Makes his way to the ring with Maria Bastatin, his coach, and the Thai people really enjoying this entertainment. The first heavyweight tournament ever to be held in Thailand. And these two guys, very, very good friends indeed. Very supportive of each other, but it's uh, friends outside and war inside here. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, you know, both guys can right go at it. We've seen both guys display some superb action so far in this tournament. That's all to play for. Can't favour either of these two guys, can you? No. Well, well, well Frank outpointing Hak Sak Hak Parparian and Mark Vlieger knocking out Martin Jan. So it's going to be very, very interesting. So it's Spain versus Belgium versus Sweden versus Canada. <laughs> this is why this show is fantastic, you know, and a lot of money is on at stake. A place in the in the semi-finals. To see who could be Infusion's quest for champion, quest for glories champion. Well, you know, I expect uh, Munez not to change too much. Expect to use that low kick score as nice points, and uh, so we took go straight into it, doesn't he? Yep, uh, no messing around. Using his height with that long knee, you see him use against Hack of Orion. Smothering the work at the moment, but a very, very dangerous mark with the right hand, good low kicker. Well, Frank puts things very well. That knee went right up the middle there, Kieran. Yeah, absolutely. He took it well, though. He took it earlier, Mark. He's, got he's a dangerous boxer. Heavy hands. Very concussive punches. Nice jab from him. From Frank. Nice leg kick there to the leg of Mr. Viga. Another low kick there by Frank. Works that very well, doesn't he? Push off and then low kick. Yeah, he you know, can be used and not many people use it pushes, use the leverage, as soon as they stumble off, he just whacks that low kick right onto the thigh, scores heavy, and of course, uh, as the rounds go on, it's certainly weaken the, weaken the legs. Nice left knee up the middle by Frank. And the blue gloves, making him miss and making him pay. But these two are very, very good friends, dancing together at Beach Republic. There's no dancing here, is there, mate? Absolutely not. I mean, Mark De Vlaigen is a tight guard. Not much has got through. But Munez at the moment seems to be just working a little bit more, scoring more with a variety of manoeuvres and uh, it's a lovely body shot. Just whap through the ribs. 
the Belgian man. Certainly has piled on the pressure, letting some good shots off down the middle as well. That's the knee we talked about earlier, Vinny. Seems to sneak right through the guard. Sharp knee. He's the taller of the two. Dangerous knee. There you go again. The big shots going. I mean, big shots going in some smothering, but I think Frank's just getting a little bit more scoring, does it, done, isn't he? Yeah, he's been aggressive, aggressive aggressor as well. He's scoring well on the low kicks. And uh he's holding on well, so covering the fists. Legal warning there for the referee. Trying to avoid the big bombs. Legal walking in, but not Legal. doing very much. He's getting scored on. He seems to be just coming forward, Vinny, and just uh, taking too many shots. Yeah. Trying to go for that big KO punch. Without trying to score the points and wait for it. Good shots going in from both fighters, but Frank scored beautiful with that left knee there, Kieran. Long knee, another left knee from him. Nice knee back from Mark. Pushing up the ropes and a long knee. He loves using that knee. Just steps in, drives the left knee in. It's either the solar plex or onto the, onto the uh, opponent's chin. Good, Good low kick as well. Yeah, well spotted, mate. Real nice. Jab and a right hook to the body and leg kick to follow. But left hook on the side of the chin of Munoz proves that... Uh, Mark Vlieger's still there. Very good round. I say that was Munoz's round. Yeah, Munoz's round. Vlieger seems to be uh, yeah, too stiff that round. I like think the first round was uh, just a little like a warm-up. Not much on both sides. Maybe a little better on Frank's side. But he needs to keep him on distance. And Marco mm -hmm. was just waiting for some things. I'm not sure what he was waiting for. But uh, he should do a lot more to win this fight. <laughs> Some nice work from both fighters. Lovely jumping knee that started at the beginning of round one. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, that knee was very effective the whole of the round. I tell you, he can't be doing some uh, too many uh, extravagant things, you know, extravagant techniques because it's absolutely blistering. Pets from Charles David. Yeah, very, very hot. And, uh, I've seen some of the previous fights, these big guys, the latter rounds go on. So get a little bit slower. And uh, shots do land, but um, to be fair to Munez, uh, he, he did the extra round and he was still, uh, still firing in all cylinders. It certainly he? was. A very close fight with Sakhak Parparian. So it's round two of this three three minute round action. Straight into it again, Frank. Scoring nice combination from him. It's well, right to very. He wraps him right round onto the floor. You can hear him here by ringside. But, um, Belgian man hasn't got an answer so far, has he? No, he seems to close up and uh, purely work his hands instead of any uh, variety with his legs or his knees. Yep, right. So far, Moon is just uh, cruising. But, you know, we saw uh, Vlag's previous fight. You yeah, can't let your hands go low because he will knock you out. Yep. <laughs> Superb low kick off that push. That's Chankaluka style all over. You know, just working the hands, getting in close, pushing them off and chopping that leg, taking that thigh out. Hard low kicks going in from Munoz. Walking in Vlieger. Doesn't seem to kick very much, Kieran. Maybe this uh, residue of the fight he had with Martin Jan, but he's not kicking at all. No, he's a little bit of a punch bag. He's saying too much. Yeah, he's taking too much punishment of Munez. Munez really, really uh, doing a number on him so far. Certainly he? is. And there he comes back to life a bit. He needs to do more than that, though, Kieran. He does. He just showed just a little glimpse. And when he does kick, look, there's two kicks. He's done one was clean, and the other one just took him to the floor. I see more of it. Sean is corner, just screaming out to him. Just keep throwing those kicks. Keep throwing those kicks. Yep. His legs start to hurt now. Certainly are, you can tell. He needs to put his combinations together. He's defending that well, Mark, but he, he's not doing enough for me, Kieran. Certainly isn't. No, he's not. You can see there just uh, Munez. It's lovely, though, because all the time it's landing. Yeah, he, he, well. he does need to do more, to be honest. 
Yeah, I mean, the Flyger here seems a little bit desperate. Not showing much variety in any of his moves at all. He looks tired as well, Munoz. It's going well with the combinations. It's very hard, though, when someone just keeps coming forward. He's just pushing him off the whole time. Pushing a big guy off as well. Yep. It's Belgian guy. He's uh, very, very, big, very strong. Big looping right hook to the side of the head. Good combination there from Frank. That's what Mark's really not well. doing enough at all, Kieran. No, he's not, he's he's not doing anything, is he? He's taking far too much punishment. He's lacked all the sting of his punches like he did in the previous fight. Munez really, really is... Uh, oh, Munez is running away with this round, isn't yeah. they? Two clear rounds. That was even clearer than the first. Yeah. A bit of a cut there, I think, under the eye as well, Vin. Might have been from a knee. Yep. Yeah. See how wild the Vlaiga gets. You see, the thing is, I think they're taking the eye off the prize, Kieran, to be honest. You know, it's that hot in there that it takes away all the... Um, what can I say? It, it takes away all the ambition, to be honest, in the heat in there. But it's who wants it most and who's the best conditioned, because if you've just joined us here on Infusion, the reality TV show, Quest for Glory. I'm Vinny Showtime Shawman, and with me... He's ever my verbal sparring partner, the double K, three-time world champion himself, Mr. Kieran Kettle. And Kieran, round three of this very, very interesting quarter-final. Yeah, I mean, so far, it's been very one-sided. Munez, you know, clearly ahead. Uh, the Spaniards has been very, very strong. Beautiful locus, lovely knees, well from the middle. The Belgian yet to open up. When he does, shows moments that he can bang, but hopefully he doesn't leave it too late. Frank, uh, very, very sharp indeed, scoring very well. Having an easier fight here than he did against Sakhak Parpadian. Yeah, I mean, that's for sure. I mean, he's stuck to his game plan, he's pushing off. Combinations going in. Sorry, Kieran, combinations going in really sharp. And i tell you something, it's starting to hot up in there as well in the ring. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, sweltering temperatures in here, Vinny. You know, last round, both guys tied, both big guys, Belgian guy. Liger keeps coming forward. Munoz keeps throwing. Combination after combination. Scott is hard working. Yeah. Nice kick from Mike. You see, when he does kick, he does make a big impression. He's landed three, every time he's thrown a kick, it's three or four times over the fight. He's landed and put Munoz on his backside. But to be fair, you know, the cleaner strikes and the higher work rate has been from Spaniard. Yeah, nice knee there from Liga. He's a bit. He's a bit. Um, Samey though, isn't he, Kieran? You know what I mean? He just, he just do the same thing over and over again. But if he's not broken, don't fix it as the saying goes. So if it's working, it's working, isn't it? It certainly is. He's taking the uh, Belgian man apart, just pure low kicks, jumping knees, and then every now and then, just for the odd body shot, but it's working. Right? So there yeah, it very much so. Not much change to anything that's done from uh, his fight against Hack. Coming up, sorry, coming up to the dying seconds of this three, three minute round of fusion contest. Really, really great performance and a great show here. Controversy all over this one. An infusion. Yes, and it's very, very tired now. Look, yeah, hands start to dip a little bit. But to be fair, Belgian man doesn't seem to be much of a threat. He's been a threat since the first round, though, is he at all? When he does kick, he makes a good impression, but he just doesn't want to do enough of it. It's, it's a strange uh, phenomenon, but there you go. He can only kick himself at the end of it when he loses it. Don't get a second chance, do you, Kieran? No, you certainly don't. A big tournament like this in Fusion. We're going to fight from around the world, fighting each other. In Thailand as well. You know, the, uh, one of the capital cities of fighting, the stand-up fighting. Well, let's be honest, it is the home, isn't it, of the, the home of Muay Thai. And, and so the kicking style is Muay Thai, so, but he's he really throwing the combinations in the Thai. But you're absolutely loving this. Here, dying seconds of this final round. And there you go, then. But an emphatic win, to be honest, and an easy win for Frank Munoz against Mark Flieger. Yeah, he's tired there, but you know, he deserved that. He should be tired. He worked extremely hard. Many kicks was for heavyweight as well. But as many kicks he did, he should be tired. He's looking to replay there. The knee was beautiful. Long knee down up the middle from Frank. Yeah, superb time with the knee. No, round one to three, great timing of the knee. Good takedown on the kick by the Belgian man, Flieger. 
Strahe up on his feet. I think Frank win the fight because he made more points. Yeah, uh, he fight. They, they both fight very bad. I don't know why. Uh, uh, what? I don't know what is his name. Marco. 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 Uh, I don't know what he doing. He, did, he didn't fight. And uh, Muñez, uh, he make his points and uh, win easy. Listen, there's a decision for our MC, Mr. Douglas McKinnon. And the referee, Mr. Yup, will be down. Working very hard, as usual. Well, there you go, then. Frank Munoz makes his way to the semi-finals here on Infusion. Commiserations to Mark Vliga, but he just didn't do enough, did he? No, he didn't. Frank Munoz takes the microphone and tells the crowd he's fought a good friend and asks, could they please show their appreciation? The fight's over, and in the end, they're good friends again. This is all part of Infusion. Well, there you go. Very nice gesture. I told you they were friends. And he did deserve the win, and it was a very, very nice thing to do indeed. And he goes on to the quarter, from the quarter to the semi-finals. Mm -hmm. The threat from Spain, the Black Panther. Is he ready to strike an infusion final? Uh, Frank, uh, ooh, uh, good job. Uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, it's the life of who I are, you know. Uh, no problem. I fight again. Uh, my next fight, I win. I win my next fight. I'm here, you know. I'm here. I respect that I told you in the last night. I was uh, ready for a hard fight. I know he's powerful, but he could not be as fast like uh, hard. So I've been smart, you know. Conte with the right low kicks, I landed several low kicks in his, uh, in his leg. So I, this, I, I think, is, is gonna, is, has been decisive for the, for the judge. And also, a knee to the face, I cut at him. I, I've been much more confident. This is the most beautiful about Kibosi, you know. I gain now uh, 16 friends, uh, including Hark and the Turkish party, you know. We are like, uh, like brothers. Because after fight, face to face, we are man, man of honor. That is nice. You know what? I think he didn't put as much pressure as he did his last fight. He did well, though. I'm not, you know, it was a good fight. It was entertaining. Um, of course, I would have liked for him to win. But you know what? Sometimes you don't win, but it was a great fight. Frank, uh, he did a great fight. He came out really strong. And uh, he had a lot of more combinations than uh, the Belgian guy. So, um, and he gave a lot of low kicks and he trying to focus where he where the weak point on the Belgian guy. So uh, he, he was smart and he did really well. So he had a lot of stamina. So. Get somebody, get down. 